Hey guys, what's up? So in this uh, video, I just want to show you quickly a very cool tool we've been working on that's going to help you with the camera projection. Make it a lot easier uh, than if you want to do it the traditional way. Okay, so this is the scene. You can see I have this now camera setup, the projection camera it's set up uh, with all the settings. We did the full tutorial about this one before. You can watch it. But I just want to show you how to do this way with the projection tool. Okay, so this, this is all good. So, you know, in projection, usually the next step is to model after the image. And this is what we did before in the tutorial. So we modeled... Uh, all the uh, geo where it need to be and then the, the now cool part I want to show you which is a tool we created which if you click here in the projection so we're gonna have this project shader tool so what you're gonna do is basically let's go perspective as well and then let's select all the geo we have here so we have the actual box the ground and then the background so we're going to select all that and then last thing you want to select is the projection camera which is this camera so selecting the geo first and then the projection camera last then let's go here and then let's click project it so right now everything becomes uh, seems like uh, everything disappeared but actually it's not uh, if you select anything from the uh, geo we just uh, assigned the uh, Proj to it if we go to the attributes and surface shader you're gonna see here we created a surface shader and then inside surface shader everything gets set up correctly for your projection so it get it get like the proj type correct and then the perspective get connected to your projection camera and then the only thing you need to do is go here and then put back the texture the projection that you want to use and then done you can see now everything gets projected correctly on your geo which is pretty pretty quick of course from perspective it's gonna look weird but you can see here so let's say this is cool and then let's go to the animation camera which is here shot cam one and then you can see here the stretching because we're using one image so now the next thing i want to show you is we can use this tool to regenerate we already generated uh, one shader for everything in here i'm just going to show you how to regenerate it's exactly the same way so let's say for the ground we want to have another shader so what you're going to do is you select the ground uh, and then let me just go and then select the projection camera because if you just select like one object and you click projected you're going to get uh, like a warning not enough objects are selected so you want to select at least one polygon and then one camera so let's select one polygon which is the ground and then let's select the projection camera and then let's click project it so now the ground you can see the ground is like the box get isolated but the ground is actually get assigned another shader projection shader so you just need to go here and just plug the correct uh, the correct uh, file which is this one so now we click that and then now if we go to back to the shot camera you can see there's no more searching because we assign and the same thing we want to like select the background and then we're gonna select our camera and then we're gonna assign another shader to that so click projected it's done just let's select back the background go back to here just go to the file and then let's let's assign it its third which is uh, should be this one partial click on that now the background have its correct shader and basically this is how you can assign so imagine if you have like hundreds of objects so you can select them all and then click project and it will assign them and then if you want to like what you saw here divide the categories of polygons you can divide that and the script will always help you assign the correct shaders with the correct settings because you know like the traditional way if you're going to do this if I reassign like uh, a new material here and then we go just Lambert and let's say I want to assign projection shader here I need to like go like assign new material and then we're gonna do like a surface shader and then we're gonna click on alt color and then in the file you want to make sure 
you create as projection and then in the projection we're gonna select the file you know the story of how we do projection so now it looks messed up you have to go back and then you need to adjust it to the perspective and then you're gonna go connect your the proper camera which is a projection camera and sometimes you need to change the settings here but but this you know this this tool is just gonna do it in like less than a second for you and you just can the only thing you need to do is just assign the proper texture because the tool will not figure out which one you want and sometimes you have like a lot of textures so it's good to assign the texture but sometimes you know the tool sometimes not always get it like perfect so you want to double check uh, your fill type here uh, set it usually it will be set up to the camera film gate but in some cases you want to match the resolution gate you know and you want to play sometimes with this that usually does pretty good job but uh, always feel free to check and if you somehow you know want a reminder what this tool does go to the help and then how to use and we're gonna show you exactly what you need to do you know and uh, of course uh, I hope you'll find this tool very helpful it's, it's gonna speed up your workflow significantly and we just want to give you guys this one for free if you have any suggestions for cool tools and stuff we can uh, happily work on that as well we are always open to suggestions to help you guys feel free to go to our website 3 dmodelsworldcom just go there download it and if you enjoy our stuff read a lot feel free to go and support us you can do that from the tool or from the website buying assets from us always help us and you know to keep producing more stuff for you guys so that's it for now have a great day and see you later